what's going on guys so in this video we are going to talk about the uh, events and uh, step by step i'm going to explain to you so in this video first we will discuss about what events are and we will discuss about the mouse events. so we have the mouse events as well as the keyboard events so first we will discuss about the mouse events so um events are basically when we uh, are just like that we are we are having various events for example we want to click an event and it will fire off and it will give you some certain conditions uh, so that's what we are going to exp uh, explain here in this video so the first thing i'm going to do is to create a very basic button so i created a button here with the uh, closing tag and inside that button um, i'm going to do is to create the uh, click event so button click equal to and uh, add the name of the if function or the name of your event function so i give it the uh, click event and um, inside that i give it the name of the button to be click in all right and um, just uh, inside your component.ts file uh, i'm going to make the name of the function which is the click event so i copy that here and uh, simply do here is to console.log and set that to be event click all right save that and if i go to the um, bar, I, if i just press this button and you see that the event has been clicked all right so the click even click works all right next we have our um, we can also do is to pass some values inside the parameter let's suppose if i pass here my name and uh, and as far as this event is concerned i'm gonna exp I also pass the value here to the name and uh, for that i'm gonna do is to create the console.log and uh, pass the value here so name all right now if i just refresh that and you see if i click on the button and that will give my name a blue all right so i believe that will be really hard for you guys to see that but um, i believe it's it's you can easily find my name here um next we can also pass the event here um so in order to pass the events i can use here dollar event and inside the function inside the component.ts file i just command this out and uh, we can uh, pass the e or even whatever you want to pass here so if i just do is to console dot log and pass here e and go back to my component and if you if i click on here so basically you have to see a bunch of properties inside the mouse even we have the uh, positions that's where the x and y axis the position of your of your pointer and we have some cancel bubble we have the path, which includes the app that sandbox root and uh, type of property, which is click. And inside the view, we have the window, blur, focus, and close, all the options for that. So there are a bunch of other properties that we don't need to mess up with that, but very basic that these are the very basic properties that for the click even that even provides you. So next we have also, uh, we can also check the ID for our company. Let's suppose I give it the uh, button to an ID of ID equal to my BDN. And uh, inside that uh, console.log, I gave it to be e dot, um, e dot target dot ID. And uh, rather giving it the uh, console.log you can also give it the alert if you want it. Uh, so if I just click on the button, you see that the ID of my ID, which I passed to my button is my BDN. We can easily extract that out through e.target.id. Um, we can also check the type. Let's suppose if I just console the log and check the type for the event, which is the click event. So if I refresh that, and you see that we have our click event e dot type okay next we can also have other events like click event and uh, some few more events we will discuss about so i just want to have uh create a div here and put that inside it 
and uh, grab this and paste it down here and just move that out. So now we are, uh, we will discuss first about the mouse over event. So here I put mouse over and uh, that's fine. That's click event. I don't need any parameter here. So just remove it here and give it the uh, mouse over. All right, so inside my sandbox term component.e type, just want to command that, command that out, just we can see the type as well. So if I go and refresh it, and if I just put my pointer out it over it, so you see that already we have our value mouse over. So as much as I can hover over the button, so this even will fire off. So now I have the 12 times, right? So that's our the mouse over event. And uh, let's discuss about one more. So grab this out and paste it down here and give it the uh, mouse over to mouse down. So, so we have our even for the mouse down. If I just refresh this, I, not, I don't need to refresh it. All right, so if I just click on it, as far as I hold my click key, it will fire off. So mouse down and mouse over so click that it sees mouse down and again it's mouse down right so as long as i can hold the key on the button it will fire off right so that's the uh, mouse down and uh let's discuss one more property for the keyboard even uh, remember that there are the more events you can see it um we can also have our double click so that should be DBL. So double click and give it the uh, mouse um, double click. All right, so now if I just click it once one time, it will not work. But if I double click on it and you see now that we have our type for the double click. All right, so that's uh, very basic properties for our mouse events. There are other very important properties, and uh, we will discuss it. Or you can see through the documentation. But these are the very basic property that that's used in our in our JavaScript. So I hope you guys will enjoy. So we'll see you for the next time.